Well, hello. How's everyone doing today? Good to see you. Okay, I know I haven't been around lately to uh, do much in any builds, any reviews, or anything like that, but I've been really tied up with my full-time job, and I've also been working on something in my personal little editing room where I started getting into flight simulations, so I've been putting together not like a cockpit, but... I had to get some things. I've got what they call, um, well, back in the day it was a joystick and a throttle. Now they call it a whole task. It's a lot more complicated. It's hands-on throttle and stick simulator stuff, these things. I'm going to do a short video on it and show you what I got and how it works. I've been learning to play this game called DCS. It's a literally, it's a flight simulation game where... I chose the F-18. It's kind of my favorite jet that I want to learn on. And you learn everything from cold start, which is learning every switch to takeoffs and landings, which I tried landing a couple of times and, well, a couple dozen, and I kind of crashed into the ground every time. Well, once into a ship and another time into the ocean. But the ship was pretty cool. That looked good on the playback. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to get around to a, a video on that. But... Today I'm here to talk about New Egg again. And I, you, f you figure after like the slap down they took, well, I shouldn't even say that, since being set straight by Steve at Gamers Nexus that they would kind of like get their heads out of their butts and do the right thing. And once again, they're at it. And so I, I have a couple builds where uh, one of the guys does video edit and the other one's a gamer. So I don't see really the reason why he should be going with a new GPU. He's got a 3090. 3080 you no know, he's got a 3090 and he's got a 1440 170 um her refresh rate monitor so you're not going to see a big benefit with this video card unless you're doing 4k you're literally not going to see any benefit now am i going to get it well, right now i'm building a 7000 system for myself I don't expect to see big gains on it in game and performance, maybe a couple of frames, um, but I do see where it's going to help me in ripping my video and sound and whatnot, which I really don't even need. It's more of a hobby. I like to do the build. This way I can do a review on it because what I have right now, I'm do I've got a 3090 Ti with a 5950 and 64 gigs. Anyway, I'm not trying to brag on nothing like that. It's, it's a nice little system, but... And it gets a job done. And I don't run heavy apps, you know. Like I, I, I use like open shot, shot cut video editing, um, you know, nothing intense like Premiere. And and some of these guys use some programs that'll just stall your car. I mean, it, it's incredible. But I don't want to get too far into it. But that's what these cards. This is where they shine. If you're gonna be a gamer and you want to get the most out of this card. From everything that I have seen, I haven't experienced it yet, but I do trust the sources such as Steve, Linus, Jay's Two Cents, all of them. This card is built for 4K and up. That's where you're going to see it shine. That's where you're going to see the frame rates kick in in any game. And other than that, I know there's a lot of people that want to run out and get the best and the fastest. It's human nature. That's how we are. We're like that with race cars. We're like that with pretty much everything we want to get. It's got to be the best, the fastest, the quickest, the fanciest, well, whatever it may be. So that's no matter what these people say and what I say, it's not going to stop a gamer from going out and buying this. But if you do and you want to get the most, get yourself a 4K monitor. Save your pennies for it. Now, on to Newegg. It just doesn't seem they can learn. They just continually dist respect all of the people that purchase off of them it's it's just beyond amazement that a company is and they say they're a moderate company they're not that big no bullshit newegg is the hugest the biggest company in the country for online sales do you know anybody that does better um uh, micro center is big but i don't think they're bigger than newegg amazon's huge but as far as being, like, technically being a computer 
sales company. I think Newegg probably focuses more on that than any company in the country. So no, they're not moderate, at least small. They're a big company. And what they do, they have no reason for. For one, they're selling video cards. So long story short, I wanted to get a few cards and I kind of expected this. And I even told the people that wanted to do these builds, expect this. <clears throat> the thing is, is I wouldn't worry about it for too long. Don't go out and spend three, four grand on eBay on one of these cards. I mean, spend your money any way you want. I wouldn't do it myself because these cards are going to be available in a couple of weeks, a month, maybe less. Because the scalpers are going to realize that they're going to end up eating most of these things when they start coming into stock enough. Because you can get, okay, if you remember back 2020, you couldn't get a Ryzen CPU. You couldn't even get a motherboard half the time. You had a hard time getting memory. I just bought everything I need to go to the 7000 series. It's all available, which tells me cards are going to be available. On to some bad news. I was reading an article today. A company that goes by the name, and bear with me, please. This is important. A company that goes by the name of, I want to say, you probably heard this before, YMTC. They're the leading maker chip product equipment manufacturer. They have ceased sales of new tools and equipment. To provide, to, provide, to provide support service of installed to China-based, okay, YMTC. YMTC, where does that come from? All right, we all know YMTC. Okay. Due to the new export rules into effect that started Wednesday, yesterday, this just happened, to sell equipment. Now... Basically, what's happening is this U.S.-based, okay, U.S.-based applied materials, KLA and LAM Research, have ceased supplying equipment produce, that produce 3D NAN. That's your VRAM. That's stuff that goes on these video cards. Memory with 128 layers Kind of strange this is all happening right around the time new cards come out. Thing that make, things that make you go, hmm, you know, it, it, seriously. Samsung, SK Hynix, and TSMC are banned for a year. Oh, I, oh, okay. They're allowed to sell, but to sell the company isn't. So basically, two multinational corporations produce chips in China. Samsung, SK, and TMC for a year without a license. So they're going to be allowed to make for a year without a license, but they're cutting off one of the big manufacturers. And also a company in Netherlands, K K KLA, Lam Research, okay, they're out of the Netherlands. They make Chinese 3D man maker, critically imported scanners and blah, blah, blah. Well, they're saying scanners, but it goes on video cards used by YMTC. So... What I'm reading right here, and I know I kind of just rolled over a lot of it, is that if, if they stop getting, if we stop getting 3D NAN, we're going to stop getting video cards and a lot of other things. You're going to see prices go through the roof. But as of right now, that's not a problem. And I think within a couple, of, maybe three weeks, you're going to start seeing availability on pretty much all of these video cards. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I don't think we're going to go back to 2020, 2021, so I wouldn't sweat it, but... Okay, I went off track a little bit. Let's get back on it. Sorry about that. Newegg, what is your issue? I mean, okay, you do have everything out of stock, but this is what gets me. In order to buy mostly all these video cards, you have to buy a power supply memory or a motherboard that goes with it. That's what first happened when the new boards got released, the 670s and 6, 650s. B, six, the AMD, the new boards that support the 7000. Now it's pretty easy to get. You, you can just, after one week, you can pretty much buy anything you need without having to be forced into buying something you don't need. So I've pretty much gone over the web page and looked at all of these power supplies. 
And this is what's happening, okay? You can also buy, they have some GPUs that are available. Well, they're not available. They're already out of stock because they're allowing scalpers to resell on their website. Really? You sell out to companies that have access to this stuff before the public can because they get into these, they have these programs that can get into the inventory and hawk everything up before it even hits the shelves. And then you let them tech for all store. I don't, I don't even know who they are, but they're selling a $1,700 card for $2,250. On Newegg, why would Newegg do that? It doesn't make any sense to me. You shouldn't be doing that. But it's not my business. I'm not going to tell you. I think it's wrong. I think it's bullshit. Second pile of bullshit is Newegg. Seriously, if you're going to make people make people, that's what you're doing. You're making people buy a PSU to power their new GPUs. At least give them one that is certified to work properly with it. None of these are 3.0, 5. PCI 5.0 certified. They're all 1,000 watt power supplies. So, Newegg, if I buy this card and I pay $21.59 because you're selling it to me at MSRP plus the power supply, and this power supply blows everything up, I'm not just talking my GPU, but say it spikes and it fries my GPU, my memory, my motherboard, and my, my CPU. Are you going to replace all this because you're making me buy a piece of equipment that shouldn't be in my machine with this GPU? Seriously? At least sell the proper thing. There's plenty of, plenty of, of, of power supplies that are ready to go with these GPUs. They're ready. They're 3.0, PCI 5.0, ready. They, you make a lot of money. I'm sure you people make a lot of money. I remember watching a video with Steve sat there and put you all on the spot. And I know in the back of your mind, you're probably rolling your eyes and saying, oh, my God, here we are. But you had an answer for your mistake selling him uh, a dead board and then giving him the shaft on it until you found out he was a big time youtuber and went into a panic because he could have seriously done some damage to your reputation and as far as i'm concerned he didn't have to bringing that into light did you did it to me four years ago on a video card where I mocked a GPU and you sent the same GPU back to me three times because it had a bad fan. I ended up going on eBay and buying a fan and replacing it myself. I got to that point. But you kept sending me the same one back and you said, oh, it ain't the same card. No, it was the same card because on the inside, I put a little dot where I only knew where it was and I knew you were sending me back the same card. I didn't even think they were fixing it. They were reboxing it and sending it to me. Your, your customer service has something to be desired, or your, your uh, RMO department. So again, I just want to get on here and rant because it's day two, and it's not the worst thing in the world because on the 20th, if you're into the FEs, that's when NVIDIA is going to start pumping out their cards, and that's why EVGA left. Let's face it, I get it. NVIDIA wants to make money, and they are making plenty of money selling these cards to these companies. But EVGA finally threw their hands up and said, F this, why are we going to buy cards from you when you are going to make the same card? And don't be fooled. You're all getting pretty much the same card with a different cover on it. Maybe a couple coup de cores difference, maybe a little bit um, powered differently, but pretty much basically... NVIDIA tells them what to do, and they have to do it. That's in the contract, right down to the color on the box. Everything has to fall under what NVIDIA says. Uh, it doesn't get sold. You make cards, and then you sell them and undercut the people you're selling cards to. EVGA walks. You lost probably your biggest video card seller on the market. They're gone. Um, thank God they're going to support their... their um, they say they've got enough in stock where they're going to be able to support their 30 series cards for enough years or whatever it may be to, to cover what's out there. And 
I don't think it would take too, too much because I don't know a lot of people who have video cards that go bad that much that often, not like back in the day where they went bad more often than not. But yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. So uh, unless we stop getting 3D NAN, I don't think we have a lot to worry about. So I'm just a little bit of hope to people. Let's look at eBay. Now, we're wondering why Newegg's out of stock. Okay, Best Buy. Best Buy has a couple cards. They, I think they sell some MSI, but they directly deal with, um, with NVIDIA themselves, so they will be carrying FE cards if you can get one when they come out. Take a quick look-see. And I've already looked at this, so it's right up there. Bang! Here we go. Okay, right off the bat. This guy's selling his card that he probably bought for $1,600, $1,599 for $2,249. He ain't even probably got it yet. Well, no, it said arriving, oh, November 4th. November 4th, November 8th, before he even gets it. So he's already trying to sell a card that he ain't even got in hand. Um, $2,400, basically. This is a nice card. It's water-cooled, so you are going to pay more money for it, but not that much. But just long story short, let's glimpse through here. So all the prices are averaging between, so far, $3,000 and $2,200, 2100 I see one, but it's probably up for bid with 35 bids on it. Hey, spend the money where you want, whatever. Uh, this guy's selling cards that haven't even been released yet. I don't know where he got a 4090 Founders Edition, but they're not even getting released to the 20th. And today is, pardon me, the 13th. I wouldn't buy that card from him. I wouldn't put my money out there. No way. No way. I mean, his shipping isn't half bad, but look at this guy, $2,100. And he's probably in the States, and he wants almost $50 to ship the card. Where are you at, buddy? Let's take a quick look. Well, I thought it was a quick look. Oh, okay. I didn't click it hard enough. All right, so uh, estimated between the 24th and 27th of October, and he is California-based. $50. I ship to California all the time, and video cards don't cost me more than $19, $20. $20. U.S. Postal, UPS, Priority. Come on, buddy. Really? If you can afford to go out and buy this car card a car put some wheels on it goodbye small car um you gotta soak somebody for an extra 25 dollars on shipping come on man seriously there's another one selling a card that don't even exist yet um so we're still all under three grand i've seen a couple ridiculous prices on here this guy okay Another one, 27th to the 30th. He's selling a card that he ain't received yet. And it's a nice card. It's an MSI. Let's face it, MSI doesn't make bad stuff. I know some people are like EVGA fans. Some people are ASUS fans. You know something? I've owned them all. I think they all work great. Where are we at? Gigabyte 25. Oh, free shipping. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Four pages are up to... Second day, four pages. So let's look at the second page real quick. I want to see how stupid some of these prices can get. 1800 bucks, but that's a bid, and that's a gigabyte. And we're going to roll on real quick. I see a 1950, 2900 for an FE. Come on. Canada. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll be right there. All right. Everything's still under the three grand. I'm sure there's some stupid prices in here. Well, they're all stupid as far as I'm 34. 34 for a Zotac. I really do like how they changed it. I think the design is incredible. They're, they're, they're gorgeous compared to their old, their 30 series. It, what a difference. But 34? Wake up. 41.99. Gigabyte Aorus. Water cooled. Gigabyte Aorus. Water cooled. Gigabyte Aorus, there it is, eighteen ninety nine. That's the MSRP on that. Someone's going to pay any bids on that yet? Any bites? Okay, not yet. 
okay, people are being fairly smart. Um, zero bids at 24, 3150, buy it now. I'm gonna piss down my back, at least have the courtesy of telling me it's rain. I do like the look of the card. Very nice looking, them Zotax. The rest of them pretty much kept that boxy look. They're still nice looking. There are some changes I like. Okay, so we're getting a gist of it. We're seeing some pretty crazy prices here. Everything from between 2100 all the way up to four grand almost. Yeah, you know, 3850. And I think, yeah, you can get this one. The guys have got it brand new. Oh, it's in a case. So you're going to have, oh, it's a 3070 in there. So my bad on that. So we're looking at everything between $500. Dollars over MSRP to fifteen hundred up that these people are selling this stuff for. And we're wondering why new new eggs out of stock. The only company that I know, and I really don't deal with them much because I can go directly to distributors like ASI, DNH. I'm licensed to purchase from them, so I can get these cards. But to call them up and just ask for a card or two. I don't think the sales rep would be thrilled with that. They usually like you to put in a fairly large order. You know, they 15 to 30 grand out of whack, and some companies, maybe millions, like I'm sure this is where maybe Newegg gets their product. These are the distributors that get directly from the manufacturers. Again, back to you've got to buy power supplies. Okay, it's an 80 plus gold it's analog controlled sli full modular but it's still not certified to work with that video card take a quick look at the next last page and then i'm now i don't know i i guess like for 1800 if you 1759 if you wanted to buy this card which is the 40, where is it? What's going on, on my web page? Um, the 4090, tough. Which is Asus, nice, very nice card. Let's look at the power supply, though. Will it work with it? Well, it will. Do you want to risk that kind of money? So 1759, so you can get, you can get rid of that. I, I wouldn't put it in with that card. It's not happening. See, this card is, does not have the plug. Now, I'm, I'm sure it comes with an adapter, but it doesn't have the regulator on that adapter that connects to this power supply to be able to modulate the voltages going through there. So you get a big spike, and these cards use a lot of power. You're going to be without a card until you can get a replacement if you get the warranty. Anyways, people, I just wanted to pop in, do a quick video on this, tell you how disappointed I am again in Newegg and just like so amazed that big companies like them can just be so disrespectful to their customers. It's pathetic. It, it is. It's pathetic. Don't tell me I have to buy something with your card just to get it. It's like, seriously. That's what they're doing. They're telling you, you have to, you want this card, you got to buy this. That's bullshit. W what happened to just want to buy a card? Fine. Want to buy a power, power supply? Fine. Want to buy a memory? Fine. I'd be more than happy, but I ain't going to buy something for my computer that I can't use with it. I mount it up on the wall and look at it and make a nice background drop thing. Look what I got back there. Oh, this one's got RGB. Cool. You know, come on. Uh, I didn't say that too loud, I hope. Disappointed. Just disappointed in this crap. Hopefully we won't have to deal with this bullshit for much longer. I have faith. I have faith this will all clear up in maybe less than a month, I hope. So if, I'm not going to tell anybody how to spend the money. You want to go out and spend four grand on a card, knock yourself out. If you can afford it, knock yourself out. Your money, God bless you. As long as you're happy, you're happy. What I know, what gets me is why do I have to buy things that don't work with these, that aren't made for this? New egg. The new GP, the, the new power supplies are out. 3.0, 
5.0 PCI certified, ready to go. You want to sell them? Put them in with this. You know what this is? This is your leftover stuff inventory that you want to dump on everybody that really wants this card. Everybody that wants this card and this card and this card, you want to dump your leftover stuff on them. It's not junk, but it's not for that card. At least put something they can use. I'm surprised someone else hasn't spoken about this. Anyways, I don't want to keep everybody up all day doing this stuff. I do like the way that card looks. Let's take a quick look at it. Zotac, I never really liked Zotac's look. I've done reviews on them, and they work as well as the next card. I didn't like the metal back plates that they had. They used to get really hot, but I think the carbon fiber, the materials used on those, um, much, they, they disperse heat much better. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But um, it, it is really, really nice looking. I, I definitely like the look of the rounded corners, the way it has that little arch in on the side. It just looks nice. It's clean. Not a fan of the of the power supply wire the the plug uh, just not a fan of it i myself i know the smaller 12 and 12 i guess it is 12 little ones and the 12 the big 12 i guess you it's more convenient to make it that way with these cards myself i like the look of cable extensions a nice wide cable extension whether it's white and black all black red and white I just think it all looks nice when it's ni nice and neatly done. I think it puts the whole picture together. You can't do that with this. You definitely gonna get some power. This is a big card. So, let's wrap it up. I'm gonna be doing a video on my whole task, my flight stick stuff, my brackets, the way I went about doing that. That's gonna be up in a few days. Well, probably a few days after this goes up. So I'm kind of looking forward to doing that. Um, I'm going to be building a 7,000 series. I will do a full build online with that. I might even try going live on YouTube with it. I've never really done that before, so we'll see how that works out. But my next system I'm putting together, and it's not like I think I'm going to get a lot of frames out of this, even in whether it's Call of Duty... I don't play Fortnite. Um, DCS, which is Digital Combat Simulator. What an incredible game. If you're into Flight Sims, I'm sure you know of it. Um, I think I'm probably going to see some benefit on my editing end, but I'm more or less going to the 7000 series because I just like staying up to date. And more than anything else, I just do want to do a review on it. So people are probably going to get more of a benefit out of it than <laughs> it's going to cost me money. It ain't going to cost you nothing. Um, all right, let's wrap this up, people. We'll be seeing you real soon. I hope you stick around and watch this whole thing. If you do, did enjoy it, don't forget to give me a like. If you're new, subscribe. And um, we'll be seeing you all around soon. Everybody, peace out. Peace out.